In other words, say Brooks Robinson signs a photo for to whoever. Yeah, to you, let's say. But it's going to be a type one photo. No, yeah, it is. let's say it is. Is that as valuable as just the autograph? So he- well, yeah, if we're, just, if we're focusing on personalizations versus non-personalized signed photos, whether whether they're you know original vintage photos or not, it, again, it depends. The general rule is: look, if you all things being equal about the photo, if you can find one of Babe Ruth or Lou Gehrig with a non-personalized versus personalized, the non-personalized one has more demand because it just that's the way collectors like it. They like it yeah. without the name. However, hmm. there are plenty of cases where that personalization means something. It's from one famous person to another okay. or it's something significant. It's, it, it 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 marks a significant moment in time and that personalization or inscription matters to the content hmm. of that photo and autograph. So the general rule is yeah, if you're just talking about your run of the mill sort of autograph rules. Look, most people would prefer non-personalized.